Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm responding to Pastor Fake's kidnap to be with the mistress. I'm surprised about how many pastors have mistresses. Like, like, you know, Joe Schmo never has a mistress. I don't know, maybe chicks are attracted to that. Like, oh, now it's all bad, like, because he's really not supposed to. And, uh, anyways, um, this guy is an idiot. And I have three points to prove that. Um, first off, he's a Seventh-day Adventist. Uh, <laughs> I'm a Christian, and uh, you know I, I've, I, 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 I go with what the Bible says, not what other people say, and that doesn't stop in the church. Um, you know, I, I, I really uh, th there's a lot of false doctrine out there, which is why you shouldn't even trust in any doctrines other than what's there. Uh, because if you just take what's right there, it's it's really hard to argue it. It's not until people start throwing in crazy stuff like, like, uh, believe it or not, even parts of creationism. It, it's like so like, like what? That's not in there. You just made that up. And there's a lot of stuff that's made up. Like uh, the three wise men. Like it never said three. It just said wise men. You know, like that, that's like such a basic. Everybody knows the three wise men. Like, but it wasn't three. You know, we don't know. They just had three gifts, so we just assumed. So, but, you know, uh, and, like, that one's not, like, really a big deal. I mean, why we threw that on there, I don't know. Um, but, you know, the, 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 there's there's thousands of them throughout, riddled throughout the Bible, these, like, little things. And Seventh-day Adventists, like, thrive on those. It's just like, they never said that. If you ever just read it for what it is, it's actually, it's pretty cool. Uh, and if you don't, like, you know, go around changing shit... And then again, it does say in there that that in hundreds of years, you know, one of the prophets or something said that people would add and change and do little things to it, and you know, and and they have, and um, they haven't done it to the text. It's hilarious, like how you don't even have to change the text for the mass public to think it's something completely different than what it really is, like Seventh Day Adventists. Anyways, I'm getting way off. I'm just going going on a Bible rant. Um, the second thing is, is um, just look at him. Look at this guy. I was a clerk for years, and I got really good at picking out the people who do really dumb things. And believe it or not, you really can like, like, like tell whether somebody's stupid or not. You know, not because of like what they look like, but 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 like how they like act and respond to things. Um, which I, people say, oh, yeah, you're being judgmental, you know, you're judging people based upon what they look like, and it's, it's not what they look like, it's, it's how they're acting, if you look at him in that picture, he's like, you know, he's got like this, ooh, you know, he's got the whole dumb thing, and uh, after about uh, two or three years of, you know, sitting there studying people all the time, um, like, I, like, no joke here, like, you can really pick it out, like, the people who are going to do something dumb, now, what that dumb thing is, is they get really creative <laughs> with their dumb things. But, you know, and yeah, you can just look at this guy and you can really tell. And anybody else who's a clerk um, who's embraced that, because I always felt bad. I always felt, like, bad for, like, years. I'd, I'd go, like, oh, I shouldn't think that. And then they always did something stupid, you know? And then it was like, you know, so then after a while it was like, you know what? Fuck it. I mean, they really do look stupid. They probably are. And, uh, because they pretty much, actually they always were, they always have some dumb question. Not saying that intelligent people don't do dumb things, I mean, I think Hitler's a good example of that. But, uh, you know, because he, uh, according to many scientists, whatever things, um, he had a higher IQ than, uh, Einstein, you know, and he was pretty, uh, you know. But anyways, um... And the third thing is, is that text message. I mean, come on. Come on. Like, that was his master plan. The text message. Like, you know, you see, this is what is sh strange about technology, is that t ten years ago, before text messages, that would never fly in a phone call. Like, like, text, like, like, Whenever I'm in an argument, like, it almost always turns over to text, because in text, man, you have a lot of, you know, guts. I mean, you can say a lot of crazy shit, and people just think it's okay. You know, uh, in a phone call, that would never fly. I mean, like, how would you, like, do that? Like, 
Hey, what's going on? Uh, yeah, um, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Like, that's something out of a movie, if you said that, you know. I got, uh, kidnapped. Yeah, yeah, I'm kidnapped right now. What do they look like? Uh, uh, they're, 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 they're the Jews. Yeah. The Jews got me. Uh, they want money. What? Yeah, hey, you know what? D don't sweat it. Um, they seem really nice. You know, that would have never have gone by. That is just the most ridiculous thing. And I'm sorry dumb people get into power. You know, it happens all the time, as we know quite well in this country. Uh, I'm not referring to Obama. I'm referring to uh, Cheney and Bush. I mean, Bush, he just... Whether he actually was stupid or not, I don't know. But he certainly did seem like it, you know? He really did. Anyways, um, that's my two cents. If you have an opinion, please, please keep it to yourself.